this is another edition of books with Al Ghazali, myself and Lukman Buba. We've been discussing power politics and death for the past three editions of this uh, program. We've looked at various aspects of the work, which was of course written in 2012 or so, and which gives details of the uh, Yaradwa presidency from the point of view of uh, officials of the government, uh, the spokesman of the president, Mr. Olisegun Adeni, a well-known journalist, uh, which is still dead with the this day newspaper. He had given us an insider's uh, perspective of how the presidency was about. Uh, during one of the toughest uh, episodes of Nigeria's political development. Uh, today we'll continue from uh, looking at chapters in the work. We've looked at the first chapter in which we uh, dissected the subject of rule of law and rule of uh, man and we examined whether uh, that represent the, the the issues mentioned here actually uh, can go uh, uh, to uh, prove that yes uh, president Deradua who has uh, who was known as uh, highly committed uh, to, the rule of law. to the subject of rule of law who had uh, addressed himself as uh, himself uh, a, a, an advocate for that matter so uh, seven or eight items raised by Shogun have all been dissected so today we are going to look at another very critical aspect of the work which is also a major uh, topic during the Yaradwa presidency uh, when you talk about the other presidency, another major issue is the case of Ribadu, the case of James Ibori, yes. and then the case uh, and how the Attorney General uh, Michael Aondaka got involved and which succeeded in really uh, drawing up a, a, a picture different from what President Deradwa uh, had intended or may have uh, uh, showed up to the world as uh, uh, what his presidency will uh, be about. So, uh, is the second chapter here, Corruption and the Ibori Saga, it is between pages 17 to I think up to uh, 42, a total of about 20 pages or so. Uh, Lukman, welcome to the show and just to go straight into our discussion. How does this chapter summarize or contextualize the subject of corruption under the uh, Yaradwa presidency. What, what, what do you get out of uh, uh, the work? Do you think uh, uh, the message Seun tries to pass has been pro properly passed? Yeah, I think it has been properly passed, even as uh, we discussed in our previous sessions, that uh, the method that Shegun took in writing this book, yes, he was not uh, being justifiable, or should I say, uh, being emotional, or... Vin he's not vindictive. Vindictive, yes, yeah. that's what I'm looking for. So he just gives you instances and the circumstances around the... Uh, uh, all the deal that happened yeah. and he leaves the judgment to you yeah so obviously as you stated that the James Ibori case is one of the uh, fundamental should I say problem or it could be put in a form of a black dot on a white cloth yeah 
as uh, Eradua has been uh, an advocate of uh, rule of law and then, anti-corruption anti-corruption exactly yes then this set of people his own attorney general and then James Ibori I mean yeah. created a lot of problem and has tainted black his uh, anti-corruption uh, crusade okay uh, let us just put uh, a perspective to the subject James Ivory was a two-time governor, governor of Delta State yes uh, highly uh, rich very wealthy politician and very influential very influential at that time he has been the president from 99 to uh, 2007 and then even before the advent of democracy in 99 he has been going around uh, in the corridors of power yes. he was uh, uh, even if not very uh, significant but then a notable figure to an extent Economy. under the uh, Sani Abacha regime uh, and then uh, he has a, a bachelor's degree in uh, statistics or so economics most probably and then uh, then he ended up in uh, uh, in several corrupt cases uh, by the end of his administration but a very important entry on the internet says that even in 1990 he where he worked in a particular store so he and his wife were uh, were charge the court for for taking part in a particular malpractice and they were even charged uh, to the court to pay a fine of three hundred dollars and later one hundred dollars and so on so he he had a number of uh, you know yeah, so his corruption his yeah, of corruption yeah yeah, yeah 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 then back to the country uh, then he represented himself rebranded himself most probably uh, with very little people who uh, who may probably have known about his uh, scandals yes. uh, in London and then joined politics from 1990 has been building up a career in politics until he became a governor and then very influential member of the People's Democratic Party yes. Uh, and then he came to a heads-on coalition with the EFCC under uh, Nuhuri Bado, uh, who is himself also a very star yes. uh, figure in in the Obasanjo regime. Yes. And his own uh, story uh, extended way into the Eradua presidency. Yeah. Uh, it only doubt, died out with uh, with uh, Jonathan. Yes. Uh, uh, quite a lot of things have happened between the trial of uh, Aondoka, James Ibori, James Ibori and Ribad, uh, first chairman of the EFCC. EFCC. He came at a point when uh, many. Uh, have normalized the business of corruption yes and he had done many hype uh, uh, he had taken part or he had gone after several high profile people including uh, uh, Tafa Balogun who was his boss yeah. uh, the age of police he uh, arrested him yeah uh, over a case of corruption and then he stepped on so many toes uh, until he also became a victim uh, of the system uh, or a victim of his own past he you also know. stepped on Eradua's toes yeah Eradua himself a lot of things that you know characterized what would be the end of his regime in the EFCC yes, and then so so this work gave us some perspective of how this all uh, this affair played out uh, first of all uh, Seun 
believes that uh, the subject of uh, corruption can best be understood uh, uh, in this system but then this will try to tell us who 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 president deradwa is yes because it appeared to seem much more as you know uh, a contradiction a paradox yes yeah is someone who started with his administration by declaring his asset publicly yes. even when many people were against it mm. uh, there was no constitution yes yes, yes 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 so so uh, you know but then oh that had caught an image of a true man of integrity for him uh, it was an off to a very good start but then again his attorney general yes who is supposed to therefore champion this campaign yes of, uh, rule, of, law. of rule of law which has uh, on the back of which yaradwa got his uh, way into people's heart yes not the nigeria's presidency but yes. people's, people's heart, heart. Yes. B- even when nigerians sh- are not very much okay with his Ascension to, uh, power. ascension to power having been uh, 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 we, uh having been engineered all through by president olusegun obasanjo and then so yaradwa came into the presidency all thanks to obasanjo yes. but then yaradwa yaradwa's commitment to the rule of law and his uh, his no nonsense or, 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 or as we were met to believe against corrupt practices yes uh, uh, got him into people's the hearts, hearts yeah people's heart but then again uh, uh, mr michael aundaka came in to undo many of these things only god knows at the end of the day why this had to be done because last i check almost every uh, attorney general and minister of justice is popular in the media negatively, for, negatively. yes so but then let us look at this uh, what what uh, shown has for us in this book um, okay first paragraph bored by the unprecedented decision to declare his asset in public president yaradwa came to office with a reputation of a personal of personal integrity but within only a matter of weeks that image would had swirled around like a halo would be tainted by the perception that he was leading a government that was protecting the corrupt very important point you see I, I it's not about fighting corruption yes much more than anything you have to be seen to be fighting corruption yes and one way to be seen to be doing that is to uh is to never protect a person undergoing uh, investigation yes especially when you are on agency is spearheading such effort then that person should not be shielded a uh, shielded i don't know that is a key point in yes. in, in so when no, what whatever commitment you may make no matter how you claim to be fighting uh, um, corruption yes at the end of the day if you your government is known to be or perceived to be protecting the corrupt then honestly uh, uh, nobody will believe that you truly mean yes to fight corruption i don't know how you look at that part maybe you have a I view of it because even more beyond that mm. uh, when you preach that you are fighting corruption yes and you are seen protecting the corrupt yes people will hold you in contempt yes and any other preach any other preaching you present to the people they're yeah. not going to accept 
do you know that throughout this chapter Seund himself did not understand yes why right. the things were the way they were especially the position of Eradwa yes Seund did not even understand whether Eradwa truly had interest in the case or not and whether Eradwa was part of some of the decisions that were taken, taken by the attorney general, attorney general with all these things Seven was only trying to Just draw facts yeah, to, yes. to, to create a narrative yes so that subject of of uh, presidents shielding corrupt or protecting corrupt officials is a very common subject in Nigeria yes. uh, but nobody is is trying to understand why yes you, it is even believed that when people defect to the ruling party the motive the intent is always to what to uh to it is just like they are taking their secret refuge you yes. know uh in the party mm -hmm. so that they that would sins be, should be forgiven yes 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 so is there a particular reason from your point of view why this belief is so strong among nigerians do you have the, do you have do you think that is there is proof in this uh, or is just a, a a creation of the media that yes this happens okay. what, what do you think when you we see as you said uh, from the media this is the image yes. that the media creates yes. but then uh, looking at the account of Olishegun mm, yes. it increases in one's confusion yes. because he, he is given a first hand information Uh, from the presidency yes himself as and as close as he is to the president yes. still doesn't understand what is actually happening yes it's like what he's saying is supporting what the media is portraying about the mm -hmm. government protecting the corrupt uh, then that still does not say that it is the truth oh, his own may have been therefore also um led into that thinking yes by the torrents of reports about such thing in the media so but don't don't forget it's not about just the yarado presidents president buhari jonathan obasanjo yes. abacha every nigeria's uh, uh, political uh, period yes has such issues coming up regularly so is there something in the way the president uh, uh, behaves that breeds such a belief because because shown uh, may may not properly uh, mm, fully understand the president yes that you see sometimes a leader is not a small man yes president of over a hundred and fifty million as at that time is not a regular person yes if any of his aides would fully understand him then there is uh, th then there is a problem yes exactly a president cannot be you know pre, uh, uh, easily predicted yes you cannot yes, yes. you cannot just understand all his decisions yes. every of his aides and his officials understood him in a particular way yes exactly i think even she one exemplified that i think it's in the uh, following chapter yes uh, when when uh, soludo's uh, kenyo yes uh, yes uh, finished yes and there was a lot of pressure on the president yes either to renew 
his yes. tenure yes. or the, to terminate his tenure and bring in another one. Yes. And there was a lot of controversies. Yes. Like people from the president's family and yes. friends and close allies yes. are vouching for the renewal of Soludo's tenure. Yes. But then people in in the executive and yes. like the governors and ministers yes. are against that. Yes. The president being the chief executive. Yes. Asks for evidences. Yes. They are saying that the banks are in a very, very bad state. Yes. But then no one was able to present any uh, uh, evidence. Any evidence to yeah. back up. Yes. Then claims. the president was confused. He didn't actually know what to do. Yes. Seon himself narrated that he was actually also vouching for the renewal of Soludo's yes. Uh, yes. tenure. Yes. He even approached the president, yes. thinking that the president would just terminate him. Yes. To just to bring in another now yes. as the media uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and then the president clearly explained to him yes what was actually in his mind yes and if he had not confronted the president yes. that was actually what she yeah, would have thought yeah, yeah, yeah and when you look at that yeah. closely yes as close as he is to the president yes he also believed what the media has put yeah. him, and he's also been a journalist yeah. yeah so uh when you are the president you are in an entirely different world yes some people largely believe that presidents are, are gun label people. Yes. And they are they are always misled by people around yes, them. Like no. they're just naive. Because you are president, you still go into the presidency with your own emotions, yes. with your own way of looking at yes. with your hatred. Yes. With, you will go into the presidency and even though you are supposed to be the president of a very diverse country who is supposed to be detribalized uh for everyone and yes. so on. but then you go to the presidency with certain mundane things certain certain things like okay even before i i became the president i don't like this person yes and, and you became the president you can start like you, you start you like like him. Him. yeah so things like that happen yes. but people always believe that when you are a president just become a robot yeah and that people around you are always misleading you yes probably these people are people who form part of every of your decision, decision making. making process right from the word go yes and these are people who even advise you probably to aspire for the office yes who supported you yes. who uh, gave you advices on how to uh snake your way through all the obstacles to uh, ascent to power. power yes only for people to now begin to say that they are the people, they are the people controlling, controlling you uh, we are humans we are not machines yes we cannot uh, live in isolation yes we cannot make decisions in isolation and the first people who will you will go to for advice in every confusion are people you have trusted all the way yes you cannot just go and seek advice from someone you do barely know. Yes. So, uh, uh, so, so it is. It, so a president might just be looking at at all of you. He has his opinion over yes. things. He sometimes allows you to make your own, but yeah. his mind is already Com made made completely, and you cannot fault the mind of a president we are 200 million people even the best decision will be seen as the worst by someone yes exactly if a president worries about especially in a country like yeah, nigeria, nigeria yes. if a president worries about what uh, whether his decisions make sense to the public or goes in line with what the public is saying yes. then he will never govern that country effectively he's not even supposed to be the president he is not even supposed to be the president because if if you would be it means like okay the president needs to go and consult every household come out let me uh consult i have a decision to make yes. or to go and uh, people will say okay he has the national assembly he has a federal executive a council when you are a president you know every member of your leadership is not a job it, 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 it comes with some kind of inspiration we yes. i strongly believe yes it comes with an extraordinary wisdom yes the wisdom that gives you 
an understanding of every of your uh, aids. Yes. Uh, but people always believe that presidents are naive. Are naive How yes. would you, for instance, say that the president uh, who has been, for instance, doing a lot of things, uh, proven files, so many things every day, and you call him naive? And in fact, before that person becomes the president, he must have been holding big offices. Yes. And an instance of Eradua. He yes. was two times governor of yes. 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 He was to the president what, and you are calling him. What Eradua. about President Buhari? He's what? He's he the military he head of state. He's military head of state. Uh, a normal sense one. Well, well, yes. A governor. A PTF chairman. PTF chairman. Uh, minister. Almost every important office in the country had uh, uh, um, Buhari had had the privilege of, you know, uh, serving in those yes. offices, and he served effectively. Yes, and he had been been uh, seeking to become the country's president three or four times before finally winning. Yes. So even in failure, he had enough experience. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, uh, but people want to create an image that yes, he's and. People in Nigerian see, president will be expecting explanation for each decision yeah, from the president. Yeah, yeah, and which yeah. Buhari is excellent in that. Yes. He's very good at ignoring. Yeah. And that's that is the best way to do yeah, Nigerians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are things that actually require explanation. Yes. So some things, if yes. you say you would explain everything, yes. then you are not going to do anything. Absolutely, like absolutely. So let's continue. Yeah. Uh Unfortunately, the president did not appear to see what most Nigerians and indeed several of us within the administration could see very clearly. Exactly what we are saying. It is probably either Nigerians who did not see the wisdom, way in wi the wisdom yes. behind the decision. Yes. In or same and a fraction of yes. the Nigerian yes. population. Yes. But to think that the president doesn't see is to assume that the president is completely incapable of perceiving things yes it's better you say the president perceived it wrongly yes it's better to say that the president's decision was not well thought out it's mm. better to even say that the president did not have all the info so many things but the president cannot have uh you cannot have you more can information have than the president exactly you can never have you can never have yes. more information yes. than the president to s uh, you see sometimes you say that we are in a very difficult situation because this president is naive you don't even pro sometimes know that the, this is the best you can have at the moment yes it is only with the benefit of hindsight that they begin to you know see yeah. what has so that the seeming connivance between his attorney general and minister of justice michael aundaka and the former delta state governor chief james ibori was destroying the reputation of the government and also compromising his own personal integrity you know yeah so we are back to this case Ma, uh, ibori aundaka uh, we have already uh, um, uh, given a highlight Ibori had a case uh, with the EFCC in which he was believed to have misappropriated funds meant for Delta State yes uh, 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 which he laundered to several foreign uh, banks and invested in several other uh, things outside of the country and then petitions were out by people who are familiar with his uh, corrupt uh, uh, practices and then efcc got in the way i think he was even arrested in 2008 seven or so by nuri badu and then uh, he was later bailed and then uh, i think it has it had to do with uh, millions of dollars that were were laundered through a network of uh, um, uh, of uh, foreign um, um, collaborators, you know, uh, who helped him to purchase um, a lot of properties outside of the country, and he he and his wife. And I think one of his aides were uh, fully involved in 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 laundering quite a lot of money 
so this was the context EFCC could not really act on time until the matter caught the attention of the Metropolitan Police in the United Kingdom who took the matter very seriously because it involved money laundering and what have you and then investigations have been on EFCC was therefore collaborating with the Metropolis yeah and providing all this information then suddenly the as well as the Nigerian government yes. uh, then uh, Michael Aondoka happened and then the whole thing took a new uh, dimension uh, which ultimately uh, uh, puts a question on the um, president Yeradwa uh, presidents so uh, both the okay this had so people who really felt very worried by this connivance includes uh, the US UK uh, who were quite very worried about what the Attorney General is doing because the Attorney General represents the federal, government. the federal government a very senior member of the federal executive council mm. the uh, chief custodian of the, the nigerian constitution yeah so uh, if he's shielding this man it tells you there is something yes wrong with the man otherwise yes. where would a whole attorney general want to shield you if, if attorney general at some point was trying to prove that this is an innocent man uh who is being witch hunted for political reasons and what have you so if he's innocent then allow him to go through the rigors of the law yeah if you are a true uh man of the law you should have confidence in the yes. Law. yes but that he is shielded speaks a lot more about whether this man really had faith in the law yes uh, so um, i think that is that so the U u.s government really was very much worried with that posture of president yaradwa and the federal government even uh giving out threats to the nigerian government of you know um, um, of uh, um, uh, not supporting the development uh, the, the, the continued development of the efcc the country's you know effort in fighting graft and corruption and what have you so and more so that the u.s government has been funding yeah the uh, anti-graft uh, the yeah. fcc yeah because you know this case is much more uh, the case had yaradwa uh, in the picture yes yaradwa had become a friend of the uh the international community yeah because of what he made them believe about himself yes uh, whether whether uh, true or false because in nigeria it is difficult to say who is really innocent and yes. not yes uh, so ribado was at the center of this and much more than the case of uh, ibori the, fo the international community especially the us and uk uh, appear to really be interested in uh, um, what has been happening in the efcc uh, it was believed that you know ribado had done quite a lot and then the big men he had stepped on are coming for his head yes with the tacit approval of you know the president 
and which uh, uh, now people coming for his head are represented or led by the attorney, the attorney general. general now the US government and other uh, members of the international community are genuinely worried because they thought that at the end of the day the episode made nonsense of their investment yes. in building the EFCC with training with uh, um, funding equipment and other things so uh, they are genuinely worried but then but then uh, one thing I truly wonder all the time is why will a foreign country be much more worried about a domestic case in Nigeria perhaps this needs explanation uh, for our audience people will now wonder why the US government the UK be uh, are worried in yes. this domestic things why will they even in the first place invest in uh, in the EFCC and other things and even issuing threats to yes, the yes, yes 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 as much as I think that is way overboard but then why will they fund it invest in it and so on the question is very clear the US is doing it for quite a lot of interests first um, it is a capitalist economy yeah and it had uh, it's either the government or its people had a lot of interest in Nigeria uh, even uh, if, if even for the case of crude oil alone uh, Nigeria is a strategic uh, country for the US yes. and what happens in Nigeria is quite important and then for the business interests of her own people the US is supposed to really be worried and the UK too not only just for being for its own business interest or of its people but then Nigeria is its own former colony yes. uh, and then being and then there is an international image every superpower wants to maintain of being the policeman of the world yes. and then quite a lot of things but uh, corruption will it, 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 it does not just affect the country where it is taking place it affects the economy of the world yes Mm. So even countries where corruption is taking place, because in the U.S. corrupt cases are taking place and people are beating the courts, yes, uh, and the government are shielding and protecting corrupt people, yes. a lot of these things. But then again, they are still fighting corruption elsewhere, because corruption has to be put are kept in a check yes let me give you a, a very important instance of how of why the economic system needs to be clean one of the major factors that fueled Islamization in West Africa was the economic system uh, and other things that Islam brought to the people. Yes. Arab uh, traders who come to North Africa and then cross the Sahara Desert uh, down to West Africa um, were among were considered among the 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 just in in their dealings yes so they have a system uh, which gives their customers or trading partners trust yes they had a knowledge of some arithmetic uh, literacy to be able to write 
their record, record their transactions do the mathematics and the arithmetic and then these people uh, um, voluntarily you know they thought perhaps and the non-muslim thought that they were how, why are these people very sincere when you deal with them that was the beginning of islam not yes. this not by crusade not this corruption we have yes. uh, people were considered to be voluntarily being sincere and then the people some of their trading partners in west africa were wondering why are these people like that then they begin to realize that no this practice is from a source that is way beyond the individual what is that islam yes yeah it, it, people were really uh, uh, interested yeah yeah so so that way that way they started saying that, okay let's embrace this religion if it is about this religion then okay that's it is it, it, so so in a capitalist world trust uh, a system of check and balance a system that ensures that uh, that protects your transaction and what have you is quite important yes so uh, all the time uh, uh, when when something is uh, uh, appears likely to destroy that system yes um, in business people or people who who uh, um, people who represent a capitali the capitalist world will really find it disturbing and they'll yes. do everything to fight it yes. so i think that explains why not only u.s government but then every other government so, which uh, is the largest which is one of the largest uh, economies yes. then having some of the best or greatest business people yes every country would uh, act the same way the u.s government uh, uh, has acted in the case of uh, EFCC. So I think that is that explains this. But may probably there may be a, quite a lot of other explanations we are not familiar with. But that's just our own uh, view. So well, a lot to cover for 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 the week. But then again, uh, it seems we are running out of uh, time. So I think we have to just uh, summarize this chapter yes. within in the next uh, uh, few minutes, and then we call it. Uh, a day so uh our under car was believed to be shielding ibori and then which hunting uh, ribadu and seon tried to bring up an explanation of what has happened because yaradwa is believed to be uh, in support of our under car for what for what ribadu uh, has been subjected to yes and then seven tried to explain why he mentioned somewhere in this chapter that there was a time ribadu clearly told yaradwa to his face that he is not suitable f to be nigeria's president yes and seven believed that yaradwa did not forget that and has not forgiven had not forgiven uh, Ribadu for that, and he also told Sheun that Ribadu single-handedly stopped Peter Odili from, from being his vice, president. vice president, and that's something. Yeah, uh, Ribadu would not have forgotten. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Ribadu, Ribadu was demoted in the police. Yes. Yeah, Ribadu was removed Sent from the NIPS, and because this is the Nigeria, I keep saying, I, I keep telling people that you cannot fight the system. Of course. Those in government, you, you will not fight them. 
if they want to come for your head they will, will. yeah so little. look at how we are ribadu was removed from the system yes. he was demoted and then that was that that was it nothing uh, but then yaradua um, ribadu uh, is believed to have been responsible for all that has happened to him no his colleagues in the police believe that he's arrogant yes disrespectful yes uh condescending yes and portrayed himself uh to be above the law that's one two there were times that even Nyeradua himself was afraid that ribadu was going was on the path of being untouchable yes far more powerful than anyone in the government and eradua someone like eradua would not would not allow that yeah yeah you yeah, know you, you can be the president and then and then but then we have to give credit to eradua for even allowing ribado in the first place to spearhead efcc looking there at their past history yes the things that uh, eradua that ribado did to eradua but the point is that constitutionally eradua had nothing to could not do anything to ribado he was already given a second uh, he was reappointed the second term most probably by president wasinjo yes and his tenure would be expiring in 2011 okay. oh so so the president had no well, he met him he met him yes. yeah so so the president appears to have little or no power to remove him yes. in office yes uh but but then since ribadu well, the drama started yes ribadu did not interfere the ribadu did not interfere and then uh, people who realized that the ribadu too had a uh, grounds in that yes. yes then they uh, invoked necessary tools they yes. a- applied all the necessary tools of this government mm. to chop him uh, off yes. the system send him to nips demote him and then demote him because the police every hierarchical arrangement or institution will not really want the way in which will not support the way in which ribadu was promoted yes he was promoted twice within one year yes as from uh from dcp dcp to commissioner of police and to aig yes. within one year yes like uh one uh, i think onovo onovo was even saying that chief of police yeah who later became uh the ig of police yes. was saying that uh, uh not not onovo uh, felix uh ogbadu said that uh ribadus w- was his genius and he had served under him yes. but ribadu is now ahead, ahead of, of him and so they don't take it lightly they him. will not take it lightly he has stepped it on a lot of tools yeah 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 they were they were sad with the way in which he disgraced Tafa Bologun yes. who was the IG of police yes. at least there should be some courtesy yes. uh, this was someone on top of the system which on the on the basis of which you are the EFCC boss yes. so uh, but then there is something with EFCC they have a way of fighting corruption they believe that embarrassing the public official is in also way, part w- of fighting exactly. corruption and that is why many times they fail yes they lose the fight yes all together because you embarrass people in the media and then you are not a court of yes. law at the end of the day this guy will go to the court and then absolve him the courts will absolve him and then you have already spoiled that person's name. and people realize that see efcc whatever efcc has said we should you know very careful you, until the court say the final uh, uh, word so uh, uh, quite a lot of things but then i think we have to uh, just conclude on this chapter um, by saying a few things despite everything 
people me say me have said about the Aradua presidency mm. uh, shielding corrupt officials. Say so believe that Aradua is as an individual uh, uh, an incorruptible individual. He had no reason to uh, to uh, amass a lot of wealth. He is believed to live a very Spartan lifestyle. Yes. And even at the level of you know uh, institutional uh, reforms to fight corruption, Yaradua's uh, credential are uh, uh, extremely well. Yes. Uh, Yaradua introduced e-payment. Uh, which helped till then the f- tracking of f- government spending yes. uh, because in the past money will be d- withdrawn cash and then you know uh, you happening. cannot trace Please. it yes. from the point of withdrawal you cannot uh, yes. trace it so that is a major major uh, uh, fit in uh, improving the fight against corruption he had also stopped the warehousing of money at the end of every year money is not spent will be yes. will be you know uh, a recycle to yeah yeah spent. yeah then of course under this same e-payment companies which who, who are not registered by which are not registered by the CSC will not be allowed to open bank accounts yes. if you don't have tax Will not you will not be allowed that helped the go- institutions of government to really be able to track yes. um, uh, uh, spending then another very important thing is uh, the non-conviction asset for future system which Yaradwa pushed for but then most probably did not succeed in getting it approved by by the by the national assembly by the time his uh, administration was laid to rest as uh, uh, he ultimately passed away himself so i think man will have to keep it uh, here and then continue some other time and to our viewers thank you very much for being part of this discussion you must have been uh, you must have understood that we are taking uh, it slowly, step by step, just so that it will be a worthy learning moment. You can't rush. We are not in a rush. Uh, we want to digest the book, and even people who had no, uh, who had not read the book, would uh, understand most of uh, the contents from our discussion so we'll keep the discussion going in our subsequent uh, editions we are in the third chapter we will try and exhaust or we'll try and pick the chapters that uh, we consider the most uh, vital for you and then uh, try to move to other books there are quite a lot of other books to look at thank you very much for listening to us see you next week